Welcome to a new episode of the Creative Center Talk Show, and we are here in a new semester for the Creative Center, and we have a whole new cast here of commentators and talk show hosts for this semester. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pass the mic around, and everybody's going to introduce themselves. We'll start to my left right here. Who do we have to my left? Uh, Laura. All right, next to Laura, we have... Yo, 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 it's a.k.a. Lois in the house. Carlos. Carlos is back, if you guys remember him from last semester. Lori. Lori. Courtney. Courtney. Don. Don. And next to Don, we have... Marissa. Marissa. And next to Marissa, we have... Hello, everyone. My name is Christian Bergen, and pleasure to meet you all. And Christian is back. Edward. Edward is back. Shauna. And next to Shauna, we have... Hello, I'm Dolly. Dolly. And next to Dolly, we have... Really? I'm April. April. And then, last but not least... Hello, I'm Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie, girl with the British accent. Okay. All right, so that's a big cast. We have a big cast today, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Today, we're going to talk about the in-house summer program that we have. Um, I noticed... With a lot of the people that showed up for the in-house, they said it was very different from in-house before. Um, more, they felt it was a more production came out of it than before. So that's good. You guys actually put a good show out there. Um, everybody that handled um, their business when it comes to their work on stage did really well. Okay, the ones that handled uh, the lighting or music or sound or whatever uh, did really well. So we made this into a like a little mini production of the in-house. So it turned out really, really good, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about the in-house for today, okay? So anybody so far got any feedback on the in-house? Back on there? All right, Laura, Laura. I, I did a Justin Bieber, Beauty and the Beast, and I loved it so much. All right, cool, yeah, Laura did a Justin Bieber, what was the song called again? Beauty, Beauty, and, Beauty the and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast with uh, Sonia. Yeah. And they did a lip sync dance type of performance and that was cool because you guys got to interact with the audience so the audience was there um, my mom loved it yep mm -hmm. yeah pretty cool because um, usually again you just see something on stage but I'm like no let's have you guys go out there and dance with them too and I, I, I couldn't really see because I was backstage but I was taking a little peek and I saw the audience really getting into it okay and they're looking at you like they're walking by and everything so really fun really fun um, anybody else remember any of the performances that stand out? Don? David Looper. Uh -huh. I like David oh. Looper's ballet dance thing he did. David Looper's belly dance? <laughs> ballet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ballet dance. Um, yeah, because we had, um, uh, who was next to? It was Elizabeth and Nancy. And Nancy. Yeah, <laughs> they were back there dancing. And usually David kind of does his own solo thing, but we had some ba dancers back there with him. So that was pretty cool to have some collaboration over there. Our new dance uh, instructor, Letty, actually choreographed, not David's thing, because David has his own style, um, but Nancy's and Elizabeth, his choreography back there was done by Letty. So that was her performance, first time showing it out there. So And Wyatt. Wyatt was doing awesome, too. Wyatt was pretty good, too. And Wyatt knows that song by heart. That's why he picked that one really good, so he knows it. All right, Don. Don has something to share. Um, I loved Man in the Mirror. Oh. That was one of my favorites, and I enjoyed looking at the audience, too, and seeing everybody having a good time together uh, as an audience and, and people getting along together and working hard. Man in the Mirror was good because yeah. um, you, Courtney, and Emmy... You guys mm -hmm. gave that performance like you're mimicking each other, like your mirror mirror effect, okay? Uh, and that was pretty cool because, again, it wasn't just standing up there mm -hmm. and just singing the song or lip-singing the song. You guys actually did a little mimicking, you know, with each other, like your mirror effect. And it turned out really good. Everybody really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, it turned out really well. I liked the men in the mirror. I also liked uh, body wall. Uh, um, Beauty and the Bees, and, and the all the songs were really good. I'm glad they picked them out pretty good. Mm -hmm. The music was great, and the audience, and everybody was working. 
It was the first time ever uh, for, I think it was half of, yeah, I think pretty much half of the people that were up on stage um, it was like their first time ever being on stage. So that was, that was pretty cool um, to actually have the lighting on their face, you know, get that experience of stage light, uh, knowing that this is what it takes to be on stage when you're on doing a production. So um, everybody that did it for the first time, um, uh, who did it here for the first time? Me. Shauna, that's it? Me. Christian. Christian, Christian. There you go. I knew it's Christian. All right, Christian. Laura, you've been on stage before, though. So on your first time. On the stage, you mean? On stage. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Sonia had a little bit of a part in Greece, so she was in there, but... Ali's first time? Uh, Ali. Well, Ali's done it, but it's been a while since she's done it. She just threw everybody off. Oh, yeah, but... <laughs> but it's, it's that experience of being on stage. Everybody that wants to be on stage uh, and get a chance to do it, that's what the in-house is about. Um, so we have the students like Ali, um, Renee, Sonia, um, Christian, Shauna, it gives you really uh, a good chance to uh, get that opportunity to go up there uh, because the spotlight really is focused on you a little bit. Um, it's not like uh, in Greece where you, we have such a big supporting cast that we can just throw you in the back. Um, this, you were actually up front. When Christian was up there on stage, um, he was actually the one speaking. So the attention was on Christian. And you did a really good job, Christian. You didn't freak out or you didn't run away. <laughs> you, you did really well. And Sean did the same way, going on stage. The attention was on you and Corey. So it's not like you were in the back somewhere. You're, you, you were there. And you did a really good job, too. So Thank you. Really good. So I'm really proud of all the performers that were on stage and in-house and turned out really good. And then we had our ones that had been on stage for a long time, like Carlos, Laura, Courtney, uh, and Edward. Uh, I think that was it, right? Yeah. Were you on stage in-house? No, no. Um, you know, yeah, the ones that have been on stage for a while, you guys being on stage with them helped out a lot, okay? Yeah. Because if Carlos wasn't there, I think Christian would have had a hard time just doing it by himself, right, Christian? You needed, you needed that support. That's why you guys are there. Yeah. Shauna the same way. Shauna needed that support to be there on stage. That's so why that, I had Corey. That's why Corey there, yeah, and Corey. And, and that's why I helped Emmy. And Emmy too, yeah, okay? Um, and that's what you're there for each other, is to help each other. Just like you guys... When you guys move on to something even bigger, you're going to need support. You're not going to be able to do it yourself or want to do it yourself because you're going to feel intimidated. But if you have somebody there that has enough experience and is there at least in presence, they don't have to do what you do, but just be there in presence, it helps you out. Okay? It really encourages you and motivates you um, in that level. Don? The thing of it is, when I was doing the in-house myself it was really a, a challenge it's a challenge just to go up there and say what you want to say mm -hmm. or do what you need to do is it was kind of challenging yeah and in-house is good um again in a way for new people that have never been on stage to be up there but also for the ones that um normally on stage uh, but want to get a chance to do something a little smaller, okay? Uh, example like David. David has been doing stage for so many years, but he doesn't want to do too much on uh, big productions no more. But he still wants to be on stage, okay? So he, that's why he still does his dance. He looks forward to doing in-house dance. Um, even the talent show that we have in Valentine's, when he wants to do something. But he doesn't do it by himself. He has people around him dancing, okay? So it's going to get to a point, sometimes maybe one of you guys were like, oh, you know what, I want to take a break from productions, you know, big plays, but I still want to be on stage doing something. Then you can do something in collaborating either in a talent show or you collaborate with a new student and client um, for the in-house, okay? Um, and and if, any, if anybody out there that checked out the Valentine's show last year, um, it's going to be really fun this year coming up because we have a lot of... The ones that have been on stage before, like Carlos, yeah. um, Courtney, and Edward, and even Dolly, um, Laura, Don. Okay, um, they're gonna have some new creative performances on stage. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty cool to check out. Okay, so normally, if you only see Carlos doing a certain role, well, Carlos is gonna do something different for the audience Valentine's Day. 
Uh, Laura, same way. If you're, you're used to seeing Laura doing a certain performance all the time during production, well, Laura is going to surprise you with something new for Valentine's Day. Okay? So it's, um, it's going to be really fun. Um, it gives the ones that have been on stage for a long time a really a chance to um, experiment something new. Okay? Um, and give the audience from the Creative Center audience a good show, too. So, Anybody else have any feedback? Dolly? Personally, my favorite one, um, like on stage, like I loved all of them. I just I loved them all. They were all awesome. But my my favorite one had to be Christian's one because like I don't know. I've always liked the mysterious, you know, going into the dark and then next thing you know, you're into the light. Just this. He has a very um, intense way of speaking. So when he said his story, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so excited. My friend's looking at me like, why are you so excited over this? And I'm like, well, it's exciting. Aren't you excited? I'm like, excited, yeah. Yeah, you did a good job. Um, you, you didn't mm -hmm. just read out your, your script. Um, you actually put into a character into that. So even at the mm -hmm. end, when there was, a, a, there was a more tension going on at the end of your, your, uh, your presentation, it showed in your voice too. You changed your voice. The way you sounded sounded more with tension and stuff. So it was really good because then you got the audience just like Dolly and said you got the audience involved a lot more. I had a pen in my hand. So, and as it happened, it began to write. Yeah. You could have said, I had a pen in my hand and I began to write. You know. I had a pen in my hand, so and as it happened, it began to write. Yeah, see, so yeah, but you got into it, so that's good because you, you a great cornolio, <laughs> or like an old. You stretched lady. the boundaries and mm -hmm. you tested old yourself lady. out, and that was good, Sitting Christian, down. because that was the first time Not he's ever anything. had a little solo thing going on, and he didn't hold himself back from really pushing it a little bit more. So a lot of times when you're on stage for the first time, you want to hold yourself back because you're afraid that if you push a little bit more, you're going to mess up or mm -hmm. it's, you're, you're probably going to get a uh, negative feedback from the audience. But Christian wanted to really push this out a little bit more. It's a gambit. It yeah, yeah. And it turned out good. Okay. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. It all was good. Yeah. How did you feel dancing, Shauna? First time up there. Well... The one thing I hated about it was the light was shining in my eyes, so I couldn't look up. I had to look down. You're not That's supposed to look at the lights. That's I wasn't. I was looking at the audience. Yeah. But the light was shining in my eyes. Doesn't eye. that help you, though, if when you can't see the audience? <laughs> no. So you want to see the audience in their face like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to look at them while you're performing. Well, when you're on stage, um, usually and you can't really see And then when they recorded me, it, you couldn't see me in Corey's face. All you can see is like a shining light <laughs> as our heads. Yeah, that's the point. It's for you to shine. Except when I almost ate it at the end. That was horrible. I didn't see that part, so that's good. What? Christian? That's why you need some sunglasses, baby. Because your <laughs> future's so bright, you can't even see your hands in front of you. <laughs> oh, gosh. April wanted to share something. Well, I wasn't here, but I want to tell you. You weren't at the in-house? No, I, was, I think I was sick or something. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay. On that stage, you guys have to watch the lights. The lights are going to be there. It's going to be bright. It's going to be uh, light. And you just got to get used to be in the lights because that's st that stage. You have to do, you know, just look. If he can't look at the lights, look at a spot, you know, someplace um something on the wall or something or look you know on the first row but you have to learn how to use the lights and the sound because that's theater that's one of the reasons why i wanted to add sound and lights during in-house because everybody that says they want to try doing stage for the first time um i want them to experience having the lights on them and see how you feel so that way if you're like in the future if you're doing the christmas production or the easter in real time springtime you you know you're already prepared how it's going to sound like how the audience's reaction will be um how you're going to feel on stage when it's dark out there but you got the light on you so you got that already uh, a kind of a taste of that so just picture that 
but just an hour longer. That's really what it is. Okay. Is the lights always going to be on like that? Yes. Yes. Well, can't you dim it more? Please? No. Nope. It's mandatory, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. I ain't your sweetheart. And they're going to be on like that forever and ever and ever. That's why a lot of people like the stage because the spotlight. Can you imagine the spotlight on you? Who We had a spotlight on Courtney and, and Laura and during... Um, on uh, and Chris and no no and the, and the um, like Edward yeah. yeah during the um, the um, Greece play they had the spotlight on them so that's even no even they brighter. were downstage running through the whole no 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 for aisle. for the Greece when he did the mooning song the spotlight was on him so there was actually more a brighter light on him just the regular stage lights so yeah we had that one that big sp- uh, spotlight there so. That's that's the part of stage work. When you're on stage like that, a lot of people want that, you know, attention. Well, that's what the spotlight is there for. But that's something again for yourself to learn. Maybe Edward didn't like that experience and like, eh, don't put the spotlight no more. So we might have changed it around where is the spotlight is not on him or Courtney well, like, oh, too much. This well, too much. Well, but trying to put a color light. D- well, that depends on like a scene and what kind of effect we have. But mainly spot bright lights is because to give you the intention. Courtney? Yeah, when, when I was doing the Grease play and I was singing my, my solo, my Raining Home Prom Night, and the light was like shining right in my face, I kind of turned my head away from the light so that way I wouldn't go blind. Yeah. So but you I, but I, as, lo- as long as I turn away from the light, I'm fine with having the spotlights on me because I just turned my head away from it. It's like the sun. You're not going to look straight at the sun. All right. Sometimes you nope. need the sun to give you some little energy to wake you up, but it's not like you're gonna look at the sun like. Oh. No, that'll be in another episode. Okay. Billy and Mandy of Grimmer's Adventure. <laughs> well, well, the lights here, um, even if you have a target where you're low, it should be okay. Um, so if you're staring, because that's why, if even if you stare straight at the audience, you won't see them because the light is so bright on you, it's dark. Now. The ones that are performing on stage, when you look at the audience, can you actually see the audience? Can you actually see them or they're a little dark? I can see them. You can see them clearly? Mm-hmm. Really? I can't. You can still see them? Yeah, I can. I can well, at, at first, but, you know, I can see the first, the front row. Oh, yeah, I'm talking, yeah, the fr- front row is fine, but, like, the back. No, so you can't, you can't, yeah, I can't Yeah, see, see. And that's, that's the effect that we're trying to give, too, is that if... Okay, let me give you the example. If you're performing, we, if you know you're going to perform over 10,000 people on stage, okay, you're performing at this big auditorium in L.A., and the only people that you can really see are the ones in maybe in the first three rows, okay? So you're looking at that, that's maybe like 100 people in the first three rows. So as an artist, when you're looking at that, you feel a little more comfortable because there's only 300. But if they turn off the light, pa boom, and you see everybody, you're going to be like, stage fright. Uh, uh, and they're all looking at you like, oh, you're looking at, you're looking, 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 looking. Uh. It, it, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating because you have more to look at. But if you only see a little bit in the front, that's okay. Just like here, there's only maybe, what, 10 people that you see in the first row. So if you can see the first row, that's fine. And that actually helps out people too. If you see people even in the first row, it makes it feel like you're performing for somebody. So if you didn't see anybody in the first row, it's all, you know, empty chairs. Then you feel like you're just performing to yourself. But if you see the first row there, it'll help you out a little bit. But it can be intimidating, too, if we were to turn on the light out of nowhere, and then you see, like, hundreds of more people back there, you know. So, like, when Christian was on stage performing for the first time, uh, I'm sure you didn't see people back further back because, actually, it was filled. Mm -hmm. This uh, gallery was filled. All the chairs were filled. So you couldn't see that. But, of course, you see the front row because they're all right there because the light is close right there. So, yeah, that's stage, all right? But that's why we have in-house to introduce that. And that's why we do our videos and short film stuff that we work on because to introduce you to film work, okay? So you can decide. What do you want to do? Video? Well, of course I'm going to be on stage again, no matter what. Oh, we'll see. Carlos? Uh, Can I say something to the in-house? Yeah. Um, well, with me and Louise, we're always playing the uh, Macarena, mm-hmm. but uh, they always, you tell us we take the glasses off, right? Yeah. But uh, I was like, I took it off, 
the light is on right through my eye. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't see without my glasses. Yeah. That's the thing. But uh, I took it off and I put it on, but uh, I couldn't see. But there's a stairs I tried almost like I can't see without it. Uh, almost f like. Well, you weren't gonna, you weren't running around stage or jumping off stage or anything. You were just standing in one spot. Yeah. So that's why I said it's okay to have your glasses off. But if you were moving around and dancing, I would say no. Because if you're dancing, then um, you're going to be moving around. You need your eyes. But that, at that point, you were just standing in one spot. So was Luis. So it was okay. And um, my, my favorite part, but not, my favorite part is Corey, um, Corey and China. There's my favorite song that I like. Oh, uh, you know, see? That's my favorite song. You got people liking that. Song. Like I, I want to dance same thing like the like them too. Oh, uh, okay, cool. I wish it'd be like that. Courtney, Courtney has something to say. My grandma, my uncle love my blue hair and my blue wig. My my uncle recorded it and he couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, even though even though the mock rate on dance was a little off, everybody still loved that performance because everybody got into it with their wigs, their hair, and just they were having fun out there. Okay, and that was, that was the point is have you guys having fun. Okay, that's what in-house is really about, Lori. It was amazing because, you know, all of us were here, and some of our counselors even came in. Yeah. And I asked my counselor, was it an awesome show? And she goes, yeah, we should have them all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're having two of them, because, um, you know, the, the response we're getting from family and counselors, but also people that are part of the community, they're, they want to see the new and upcoming people. Um, that have never been on stage, they want to see what you guys have, okay? And having these in-house shows between our big shows is, is really cool to have. Stephanie, do you have something to say, Steve? My favorite out of all the in-house, you guys did awesome 10% and are going to keep doing it for the next five years. You're all, all super awesome, you guys. Especially Shauna, I love yours. I loved your man in the mirror, and it was like really cool and brought me to tears, Shauna. No, you did that, call me baby. I loved, I loved your brewing the beat, and you, my Korean man, you look just like my grandpa with the wig. Oh, yeah. I loved you all, guys. You look like Stephanie's grandpa with a wig. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love watching you guys on stage, and I also like being on stage. Um, one of my favorite parts isn't so much the spotlight as it is seeing everyone smile. You know, when you look at their faces and, you, and you're performing and then you see those smiles on their faces and you're like, wow, we're doing such a great job. We're giving them the best performance ever and they're just so happy. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorite parts about performing. Yeah, because if you see them just like falling asleep on you, yeah. then you, you will, the energy will be kind of sucked out. But if you see them kind of like there or even when they're laughing at something that's supposed to be a funny scene, it, it just pumps you back up. Don, you have something to say? Yeah, um, when I was doing the poems uh, that I did, um, it was really good because I was speaking what I thought. And usually when you read a poem, it, it doesn't come out at you. Yeah. And one of them was, um, was we. I wrote that poem. Mm-hmm. We because it was a good poem about us as a family. We're a family here. And I thought it would be a good one to write about lunchtime and about how we how we treat each other at lunchtime and that's a poem you're writing? Yeah. Oh okay. I did write that poem. Oh. And the one that made me so nervous was the other one that that you were with me, Camille. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because that was really emotional one. Again, yeah. that came from your heart. So it came from but again, my heart. Even for that, I was on stage with you guys to help you on that because uh, just for that presence, really, you just need that presence there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to remember that. Marissa, yeah. do you have any feedback on and any shows? Which one was your favorite on uh, the in-house show? My favorite, my favorite part is when Coney and Amy do Man in the Man. Oh, yeah. Man in the Man. That's that, that Sarah with Coney. The Coney Baby. 
Yeah, very in house is really uh, really entertaining um, this this summer. Uh, ca- Carlos de la Maguena. To close it out, that's a good way yeah. to close it out. Yeah, that's why I had Macarena in, in the end, and then you guys just went wild with your stuff. So that was a good way to close it out. So, but no, really, all the shows um, for the in house went really well. So I'm looking forward to what ideas you come up for the Valentine's because this is your guys' stuff. Um, just like the Christmas show, when we have our Christmas show coming up, it's going to be something similar where it's the clients' um, uh, acts and performances that you guys are going to put out. So get ready for that for this Christmas. Christmas around the world. Christmas around the world. All right, so that'll do it. We're running out of time here, but we had a good show, guys. Uh, good first episode of the show. And hopefully the audience um, will get a good uh, reaction to this episode and to the new, st- um, I'll call you guys host, okay, new host for this semester of the Creator Center Talk Show, all right, and if you, li- if you watch the in-house show and if you have any feedback on it, you know, go to our Facebook page and just tell us about it, tell us what your feedback, um, we have our Instagram too and we have the Twitter, Twitter there, okay, so give us your feedback on the in-house show too, okay, we want to hear what you felt about the performances, okay? All right, so that will do it for today's episode of the Creative Center Talk Show. And here, everybody at the table says bye. Bye, bye Felicia! Bye.